to save it. But this is an important one in this group for Self. He lost his first two matches. He'd only won one frame. But this red, and it should be 3-1. Sixty-five. Yeah, and Selby's played three now and lost two, won one. So it throws this group open a touch. Yeah, be about this time tomorrow night when we know exactly who's in the playoffs. It's going to be an interesting day and a half now, I think. I did say, though, from Selt's perspective, when he saw Selby leaving the chance, he may feel he'd have to take this, and he has done. So he's finishing on a high here with uh, his highest break of the match. Seventy-eight. Great chance to add to the centuries tally. We had nineteen in Group One in just two days, and bear in mind it's the new year, and you know we're not. You know, been a break, there's been a couple of weeks off. It's 86. a very impressive tally. We had quite a few today already as well. And possibly another one here from that cell. Either way, it's been a, a match winning break. Thank you. 87. I did ask him yesterday, because he set that record or equaled the record with 23. I said, How many are you going to have uh, this year? He said, Oh, about 35. So this is going to be the first one. You know, very modest figure to set that. Just Ninety 12 four. more than last year. 95. Well, maybe that was his great plan of coming in at Group 2, so he can just work his way through all the groups again and chip away at that target. That would take some doing. It's been a great break from Matt. Yeah, he's a terrific well, player, isn't he? You know, he's a character as well, but bottom line, he's a terrific snooker player. He's proven it again here. 104. It's his 12th century of this season. 107. Matthew Salt. Brown's 107. not done yet. Oh. <laughs> Well, it is now. 107, the break from Matt Sell. A 